A good way to increase performance in your game is by using LODs. LOD means level of detail and is used to render objects differently based on the position of the camera. Using this, you can create multiple variants of one object with a different amount of vertices and make the object lose vertices the further the camera goes away from it. Here I have a coral in my scene and I want to apply LOD to it. First, you need to create the different variants of the object. If your object is created in Blender, you can just use the decimate modifier to decimate the vertices of the object. Duplicate your object, decimate the vertices and make sure to bake the textures again. Create as much variants as you like, but I think 3 are enough. Before you import the object to Unity, you can name them like this to make the setup in Unity easier. The object with the highest amount of vertices is LOD0 and then you just count up. When you imported the model to Unity, apply the textures and materials and drag it into your scene, the LOD group component gets added to it automatically. If that didn't work, just add the component by hand and apply the variants to the right LOD level. To do that, click on one LOD level and drag the right object in Renderer. On the right you see a field named Cull. This basically means that the object will not be rendered. Now when you move the camera away from the object, you can see that the different variants are loaded based on the camera position. To define when the object should be rendered, you can drag these fields to the places you like. To make the switching between the LOD levels more smooth, you can select Crossfade under Fade mode and set Animate Crossfading to True. If you like this small tutorial, do not forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. See you in the next video.